Okay, so let's get back to this uh, demo. Uh, what does this debugger do? So I can bring it on off and I can uh, click here and see what was loaded by the first event that got triggered in this app was the DOM content event. It led to the DOM load effect. The DOM load effect is a very specific um, thing. It's not just the event, but it holds all the consequences of the event in terms of the state, you know, and rendering, you know, what happened. So that's how we can find out what happened when the app um, loaded and this event uh, came on. And then we can see the initial state before the event was fired and after it was fired. And you can see that, you know, this is uh, not the entire state of the program, but this is just the state that's affected by the uh, load event. Um, so we can move on to our next event. Let's say I'm entering something. And for ev ev I made it so that for every keystroke I'm getting an event, I could, you know, also debounce and do things like that and reduce it. But um, so I have the email effect, and this is what's uh, affected by it. And I have an error here, so I correct it, and now I have a blue thing that tells me it's, it's OK. Um, and so with the email effect, if we go back, you can see the state changing over here. Is, this is just standard time travel, like uh, Redux, etc. You know, nothing new here. But the thing that's new is that it's only you know it's give you a focused a view of the state that's affected um, in the program, not the entire state. And you're zooming in on the delta on the difference. Uh, you can also access the handler, and you know this is the event name. You can kind of if if we had a list of them, we can sort by order. But let's uh, uh, start another event. This is when it's building the random set from which you know it throws millions and millions of war words. Well, from a pool of millions and millions of words, filters them and selects ones that are easy to remember, including from the AI source, trained AI source. So um, it's trying to find the crypto seed. And when we click on this to see you can see that it's actually a live tracking of what the event caused in terms of effect, what it's causing in terms of effect. And uh, I'm adding, you know, a slice here every time. That's how I decided to grow this thing instead of one, you know, big thing. Uh, we're just playing with this to test it. So um, we can also see the word set growing. It's finding all these words, yeah until it has basically 256 uh, wars because they're unknown to the uh, attacker they're not published like the aff word list or bitcoin um, bib 39 it's it's you know it's not that's you know it's, there's no giveaway to the attacker you know with bib 39 bitcoins bib 39 and aff's um, schemes they're basically a giveaway to the attacker in terms of giving the list a starting list um, which uh, makes it much easier, lowers the entropy tremendously. So this one doesn't really give the list. It's just the millions of words out there, the tens of, tens of millions of words out there, and the tens of millions of words created by AI. You know, we're now they're under a million actually coming from AI. But um, AI is learning and it's, it's growing. So anyways, this is uh, um, Wolfful Merda 